All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's what you see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, presenting the challenger, Boom Boom. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 227 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Chip? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Looking to land the right just out of range. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow us? His misses are up top. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh!
straight punch land. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, he's back in the clinch. Look for him to get that right hand busy. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. out of range with that left hook. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Lance with a right hand. Slips to avoid the right. Just missed with the straight left hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Got the single collar tie. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball has become quite some size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Big kick land. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Head kick, that's a miss. Knee to the body now, it's blocked. Powerful leg kick land. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Level change. Leg, finish the takedown. Great job. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping him in the full guard. First round winding down here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down.
Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Punch over the top. Unable to connect with the right hand there. knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Let's go. Let's get that takedown now. Boom. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Just misses there with the left. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. That jab is fast. Oh, DC, he is officially run. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp to Cat mouth, you got to cat mouth. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice straight punch. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, a huge block there. Right hand landed. Fighters exchange in the pocket. Just misses with the straight right. Nice. Again, going back to the. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement. Oh! Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Big head kick land. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target. There. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Single collar tie now. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, he's got every choke in the book trying to set one up here. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. Guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities.
for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing. You need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missed with the left there. Slips the punch nicely there. Shot to the body is blocked. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Good punch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Escape, DC. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Under three minutes remain in round three. Just out of range with that strike. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Unable to connect there. Oh, crippling knee to the body! Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kane Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurts the back. This guy has to hurt very badly again. He just seems much more confident and comfortable on the feet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot. Nice entry into the finish directly. 90 seconds to go. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Great punch, landing with so much power. result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout and that's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming so a big big win for him here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean a competitive fight 
that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 51 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Boom Boom. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.